So you are most welcome to MSSN Lagos State Unit class. So the topic again is what problem. We started at the last class, so we will end it uh, by a last grade. Uh, we should be able to go to some level uh, by today. We we'll talk at some level by today. Yes. So we've done the addition and subtraction addition and subtraction of when we mean what problem so addition and subtraction we've done that and i want to you still understand what Now, yes. so uh, let me display my screen. Uh, you can, I believe you can see this. So, this is where we stopped at last class. So, let's go to products. Look at this statement. It said, okay, do we do this question last class? Okay, okay. Let's do this one thing. The different, difference. The difference between eight and another number is seventeen. Find the two possible values of the number. The difference between eight and another number is seventeen. Seventeen. So it means that it means the difference between two numbers the x. Minus y. The same question. The other question is: The other thing is a when it is equals to eight. So now they have what? Eight minus y equals to seventeen. Then when you look for uh, when you look for y here, your this y. Can come here, then our 17 come here. We'll not be having 18 minus 17 equals to y. Is that not 18 minus 17 equals to y? Then what is 18 minus 17? 18 minus 17 is what, please? That is 9, right? That is nine. So that is our that is minus seventeen give us minus nine. It means that our answer is you now have minus nine equals to y. Eight minus seventeen. You have eight nera is positive. You are also about the seventeen nera. If you pay your debt, you still be left with nine nera that you are owing. So you now have minus nine equals to y. It means you can write y equals to minus nine. This is the first one. So now let's assume that it is y that is eight. Oh, you get you know, are told that the between two numbers, the way between eight and another number is 17. So if this is eight, if x is eight, we get y to be what? To be that. Now let's now find if y is this. If y is 8, then we add x minus y equal to 17. If y is 8, see x minus 8 equals to 17. Equal to 17. Then from here, we can now say that uh, let me can, x minus equals equals to 17. 
x minus 8 equals to 17, then x cannot be equal to 17. Our minus 8 will come here to become what? Plus 8. Therefore, we have that in x equals to 17 plus 8 to give us what? Anybody? So 17 plus 8 will give us what? Please, anybody, please. That is what? None of you is saying anything. That is 22. Five, right? Therefore, our answers are what and what? 25 and what? 25 and what? What answer we got? Minus y. So the two values are 25 and minus y. The two values are 25 and minus y. So that is the final answer. So we've done question number one. Question number two. Find the positive difference between minus seven and minus 12. Find the positive difference between minus seven and minus 12. Minus seven and minus 12. The positive difference between minus seven, it means when I ask you to find the difference between two numbers, that's just like what we did before. Now, now I ask you to find the positive difference between minus seven and what? And minus 12. We have minus seven and minus 12. Minus 12. So we want to find the difference. We have minus seven. When you look back at minus seven, it's going to give us plus 12. Then minus seven plus 12 gives us what? Give us five. All right? That is if this is if this compares. I want to believe you are getting me. We, the second case we have is that we should have minus 12 minus minus 7. There are two different numbers. This is the first one. This is the second one. Assume that the first one is coming first at the other time. Then here, now say 12 should come first here. Therefore, we now be having from what we have now, we now have minus 12. Minus minus seventeen. You go to minus twelve. Minus twelve. Minus minus. Uh, is it seven or seventeen? Minus seven. Therefore, from here we now have minus twelve. Minus times minus this. We write it to this. Minus times minus to give us what? Minus times minus. We give us plus seven. So minus twelve plus seven give us what? That's minus five. You are only supposed to twelve nera. You now have seven nera. What will be your? If you pay your seven nera, you pay seven nera from your money you are owing to the main five nera that you are That is negative. That is minus two. That is you know our answers are what minus five and what the first answer. The first answer is what? The first answer is plus five. Then we are not told that we should find, look at the question very well. We are asked to find the positive difference. Both of them are the difference. But here we are asked to find the positive difference. Therefore, from what we have here, from what we have here, what is the positive difference? You have minus five and plus five. Minus five and plus five. So our positive difference is what? Is plus five. So this is negative. And that is our, this is our final. Uh, you just said it. Therefore, the positive difference is five. I want to believe you, you are getting this now. Is that not it? Is there anything before I move to the next uh, next question? 
Any question for me? Any question for me at all? Okay. Okay. So, any question? Who's raising up? Fabiani. Fabiani, you raise your hand. Sir, please, I do not see the question, the difference between it, and you change the Excuse what do you say? I said it is my phone. Don't worry, Zangi. So I will I will reshow the question, then I will move on. I will move on. So this is the question. This is the question. Can you see that? Those are the questions I will just did now. You can see that. I'm sure. Fast. No, Charles, I will read this uh, material after the class. I will send you the material after the class. So let's go. Look, we are, going, we are moving to products now. We have the first question find the product of what's the product. It means multiplication. Stop. Well, five product between five and six, that is five times six, which is thirty. So product simply means multiplication. Yeah, you, the first one says find the product of minus six, zero point seven, and six. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. What I mean here is what I mean here is six O number two over three. Six O number two over three. That, that was what I mean. Six O number. 2 over 3D. That is what he said. So the question says that find the product of minus 6, 0 0.7, and 6 number 2 over 3D. Minus 6. Who will call the question for? Somebody should call the question for me. Minus 6. Uh -huh, times, you know, I said multiplication is product. Minus 6. What's the next uh, number? Fabian and Tori, can I talk in? What's the second number? Minus 6, 0 0.7 and 6 is number 2 over 3. 0 0.7, 0 0.7 and 6 is number Two over three. So these are the questions. This is the question. We want to find the product, which is what we do. That is what we're doing now. Minus six times change this zero point seven to a fraction. I want you to change zero point seven to fraction. Just move this decimal to the last digit. That is seven. Have seven over. How many times do you move it? Just a single time. That is one time. Just let's send that one time by zero. That is one zero. If you move it two times, you send it by two, two zeros. If you move it five times, you send it by five zeros. Now put one. Now I'm making ten. Hope you get it. If you have two point five, two point five seven. You want to change two point five seven to fraction. Just move this decimal to the last digit. One. Two. You move your time two times. Now I two five seven 
over first right one. The number time you move it two times, you get by two zeros. And this is our final answer. These are from fraction from decimal to fraction. And if it's from fraction two, what you've done here, just do just do the inverse of it. Huh? If you want to change this one now, or let's assume that this is there is one here. Now to move, you want to change it to fraction, it will be what? And there is zero here again. How many times, how many zeros do you have? Three zeros, just move it from the last one to three. So you move it three times. So you not put your decimal here. Now we have 1.257. That is how to convert from fraction to decimal. So for this again, let's do this. So 0.7 becomes 7 over 10 times. Let's change this to uh, an improper fraction. This is a missed fraction. We, we are taking it to improper fraction now. 6 times 3 will give us 18 plus 2. That is 20 over 3. 20 over 3. 20 over 3. 20 over 3. Therefore, we can have 0 zero cancel 0 here. 3 here 1. 3 here 2. So we will now have minus 2 times 7 times 2. And that will give us what? Minus 2 times 7 will give us minus 14. Minus 14 times 2 will give us what? We have minus 2. Let me write. Minus two, our answer equals two. Minus two times seven times what? Two. From here, from here, please. Seven. From here, and what we have, we have minus two times seven times. Then we will not be having minus two times seven give us minus fourteen. Minus fourteen times two. Give us minus twenty. Yes, that is the final answer. What is it? Sorry, what do you say? Or oh, is that Fabian? So that is the final answer for the first question. Look at the question again. Find the root of this. This and this, this will number two and three. That is how we do it. As simple as A, B, C. As simple as what? A, B, C. Okay. The next question says the product of two numbers is 54. The product of two numbers is 54. I, I told you that mathematics is always simple. But you don't understand the expression, and that's what we are doing here. So this is a, an English expression. So you need to transform that English expression to what? To mathematical statements. And if, uh, if this is English statements, you want to tra transform it to what? And if, uh, to mathematics expression or states or, uh, or equation. Look at this now. Look at the second question. The product, if you don't understand this whole topic, or you can't trans translate a statement to uh, to mathematical expression, then in mathematics you will have problem in some of those topics, in some topics. And these are foundations. These are your foundation. Your GSS classes for is your foundation. What do you say? Yes. The first cannot hear. Do you, say, do you say first cannot hear? Yes. No, it's the first is not to work. It's the first network. The, 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 uh, the video is available. The video will be available, so the first can always watch that later. But the best is that you listen to it uh, from here. So we have the product of two numbers is 54. The product of two numbers is 54. If one of them is two, what is the other number? Look at it. 
Very simple. The product of two numbers is 54. Let first say let the number be represented by a letter, by two letters. So we said the product of two numbers. Two numbers is 54. Represent the letters by the numbers by letter. You can now say what what number should we use? What letter should we use? Let's use Y and P or Y. Let's use Y and uh, Y and what? Let the numbers be Y and Y and uh, I don't want to use a number. Uh, okay, the Y and B. Let's okay. Let's just see. Let's see. That will not be convincing. So we said the numbers should be. Let the numbers be Y and uh, and C. When I said, look at okay, the product, product of two numbers is 54. What is a product? Multiplication of two numbers. When I said the numbers are what? Should I say the number by what? By, by one and six. It means Y times C. That's the meaning now. The product of two numbers. No, I did it. The last thing that we did. If I say the product of the product of two and three, it means two times three. So the product of two of two numbers, y and 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 c equals to what? Equals to fifty-four. Equals to fifty-four. Fifty-four. That is the first statement. That is the first statement. You are correct like this. So you take it like that. First statement states the product of two numbers is so to be R. The product of two numbers. Sorry, the product of two numbers is yes. The product of two numbers is 54. That is y times c c equals 54. If one of the numbers is true, hmm? one of the numbers is true. One of the numbers is either this or this is true. Let's choose one. Let's say y is true. Y is true. We will not have any of the CY put to that is 2 times C equals to 54. So, why 2 times C will give us what? 2 C. 2 C will not be equals to what? 54. Then we are not asked to find the other number. We are asked to find the other number. So, from here, just say divide both sides by 2. Now, two, two year one, 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 give us what? 27, 27. So therefore, our C equals to 27. You will now see, therefore, the second number is 27. So you should find the other number. So you still say, therefore, the other number is 27. Can you see that it's simple? So you can ask, if you want to confirm it, Two product of two numbers is 54. What's the first number? The first number is what? The first number is two. The second number that we just got now is what? It's 27. So two times 20, 27 will give us what? 54. You can see that is simple. So that is just the answer. So everybody do this now. The product of the product of I'm dictating the question. The product of two numbers is the product of two numbers is is thirty six is thirty six is thirty six. The product of two numbers is thirty six. Push up. If one of the numbers if one of the numbers, if one of the numbers is six, if one of the numbers is six, is twelve. If one of the numbers is twelve, find the other number. The product of two numbers is the product of two numbers is thirty-six. If one of the numbers, if if one of the numbers is 12, find the other number. One of the numbers is 12, find the other number. One of two numbers is, 
is 36. If one of the numbers is, 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 is 12, find the other number. Who is true? Fabi, are you there? Tori, are you there? If you are true, send your answer as message. So you tell me any, if anyone has sent the answer. Anybody? Okay, so is some people are true. If you are true, send your answer, please. Okay. Some are true. Some are wow, wow, wow. I can say very pillars as I say. The I said two the product of two numbers is thirty six. If one of the number is twelve, if one of the number is twelve, find the other number. Oh, I'm saying the question, the answer. <laughs> I forgot. So the answer, <laughs> okay. I can see many of you, 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 you perform well. You perform well. So you, you perform. I'm really amazed with the response, and it's, it was very fast. So I said the plural of two numbers is thirty-six. Thirty-six. If one of them is twelve, the other one will be. You, you, you got that. So many, all of you. Yeah. If one of them, two numbers, that is, is, product of two numbers is 
36. If one of them is 12, that is 12 times a number, let's call it uh, D, equals to what? 36. So it's not 12 D equals to 36. Therefore, we say drive side by 12. D will not be equals to TD. That's fantastic. Do not tell me that the second number is TD. So you all perform very well. So let's, let me move on. The next example here, uh, we are moving on to what we are, where we are combining products. When you are combining products with sums and difference, once you combine products, we know how to manipulate products now, addition and subtraction now. Some are dif some dif some difference products. Now, sometimes you now have three of them. They will write questions combining three of them together. Look at this or two. Look at this question. Question number one. Find the positive difference between 31 and 4 of 4 and 14. Find the what? Positive difference between the product of what? Product of between 31 and product of this. So it means product of this, why you find product of this? You not find the positive difference of it with this. So to do this, we will say that that we know that the product, find the product positive between 31 and product of this. That is 31 difference. So I said I wrote 32. <laughs> so 31 difference of four, product of four and 14. Let's simplify that first. Product of four and 14 will be what? 4 times 14 will give us 48. Zanot is now 48. We are now told that the find positive difference between, between this and this now. Between this and this now. We find the answer of this now. Do you get now? The, we know the answer of this and the of this. Now we we'll find the difference between this and this. The difference we are now finding is now the positive one. That's the difference of 31 and, uh, and 48. Difference of 40, 48 and 31. That is 31 minus 48. 31 minus 48, can it be 31 minus 48 or 48 minus 31? So we have these two answers. So the one that is positive now be our answer. So the first one, 31 minus 48 give us what? When you are subtracting two numbers, one of them is positive, the other is negative. So your answer, if the, the highest one or the the larger one, the one that has it for from here we have 31 and 14. Which one is higher more? We have 14. So our answer will be will be in the sign of that thing, of the highest. That is 48 and it's negative. If our answer must be negative, that is we have 31 nera, you are you have 31 nera, you are also want 14 nera. If you pay your debt, how much will you be left with? Well, you pay 31 from that from 48, you have we now have 17 minus 17 minus 17. Right here, we have 17. We, now, therefore, it means our answers are what? 7 and 17. 7 and, sorry. Our answers are minus 17 and 7 and 17. Minus 17. Okay. So we have this now. 17 and minus 17. 17 and minus 17. So the difference will now be what? Uh, what is the positive difference? The positive difference is now 17. So you just write it as your final answer. I hope you get that now. 
to so that is our so that is our financial that is 17 that is 17 so let's the second question hope you get that now the second question what's the product of one over seven and the sum of three over five and this again this is just like what we did the first time so we are looking for the product of this uh, what is the product of this and from that is first find the sum of this you will not plot this with so we have three over five and what one would number one over two so the sum of this and this we first find some of that and that So we have hope they are still together. So uh, let me stop. Fabian, you have a question? Some of three, three over five and one around about two. Some of three over five, three over five plus one whole number. One over two. One over one over two. Therefore, we now have three over five plus good, good. Good. We have two times one will give you two. Two times one will give you what two plus one. Two plus two times one will give you two plus one. That is three over over two. Therefore, let's now add both of them now. Let's add both of them now. You know how to add now. Add how to add fraction. So you look for the LCM, and the LCM is what? It's 10. So you have 10 into 5 and 10, that is 2. 2 times 3, that is 6. Plus 2 in 5, that is Two in ten, that is five. Five times three, that is fifteen. Now six plus fifteen. Six plus fifteen give you six plus fifteen give you twenty one. Now twenty one over ten. Twenty one over ten. Remember the question says we should find the product of one by seven and some of this. Therefore, we now have product of one by seven and twenty one over ten. Look at this now. That is twenty one over ten. Twenty one over ten. Twenty one over ten. And put up to twenty one and one over seven. Times one over seven. Times one over seven. Therefore, from here you cannot have Seven year one, seven year three. Now I have three times one, that is three over ten, that is three over ten. So that is the final.
Hope you've understood now. So that is the final answer. So that is the answer. Hope you get us now. So you just need, need to uh, understand the question. So you need to understand the question first. After understanding the question, then you continue. So that, those are what you have for today. Again, you know, I always say this. So, you know, I always say this that you need to read on your own. You need to read on your own. It's not until you depend on. Oh, sorry, please. I, I had challenge with my background. Yes, yes, I can see that. So, please, so, uh, it's actually some of the, uh, those people share, uh, uh, selling ice cream. So, that is a uh, background this thing. So sorry. So that is what we have for today. Ensure you read. Take your question. Take your past. Uh, your past question. Take your textbook. Solve question and anyone that you don't get, bring it to class. Let let let, let us do that together. Do you get it now? So if there is any question at all that you that you that you solve and you didn't get, bring it. We can always take it together. You can your textbook. You have your textbook there. And there are lots of questions there. Lots of questions that are beautiful for you enough to get all you need to know. So inshallah, this is where we call it a day. We pray that in the last day of our life uh, beyond this period. Assalamu alaikum to our culture. Thank you.